Hey everybody, we are finally getting the first look at my new brackish tank. This is the big project I've been working on for a long time. I finally got it done. Butterbean has a new home. I wish I could say he was happier in it, but he still seems to just sort of be pacing the glass in that back right hand corner if you haven't noticed him yet. Uh, I have seen him a few times today sort of drift across the back of the tank, but he always kind of ends up in that corner again. Uh, swimming like he's just trying to swim upstream or something so I'm not really sure what's going on why he's unhappy in the tank I would have thought that all of the extra space would have been something he would be very happy about lots of stuff to explore and things to do I've thrown some big snails in there for him so he's got forage and he's got food if he wants it I'm just gonna give it a few days and let him settle in and get used to it so he had a few hours in there yesterday before the lights went out and it's been a few hours this morning since the lights have come on so it hasn't been that long that he's been in there but I was hoping it would be long enough now that he would sort of be a little more relaxed his belly's not all dark so he's not that stressed out but it always bothers me when I see him pacing the glass like that because that's definitely the sign of an unhappy puffer when they just pace the glass so hopefully within the next day or two he'll calm down and settle in get used to his new digs a little bit um, he's got twice as much room as he used to have and a few more tank mates you've probably noticed some guppies I put four guppies in there just mixed uh, mixed males and I added a few of the endlers guppies that were in my red clawed crab tank so I've got five three guppies and four no four guppies and three endlers there we go Four guppies, three endlers, and then Butterbean in a 40 breeder. Now, the reason this has been a project, I'll say, is because if you look at where the tank is actually positioned in the room, I've got it sitting next to my 29 miscellaneous, and if you're familiar with my fish room, you'll know that this is the position where my Red Claw crab tank used to be. Now the problem was that you can probably tell that's a closet door right there. So the idea with the Red Claw Crab Tank is even though it was really inconvenient, if we ever really needed to get into this cabinet, or this closet rather, we could move the tank out of the way. It wasn't that big of a deal. Anything larger would have more or less rendered that entire walk-in closet useless. A tank this size, for example, you know, the filters on the tray underneath, there's just no way we're using that closet door now that this is set up. So one of the things I was waiting on happening was having another door installed in the end of the closet. So we now have access to the closet and I'm free to go ahead and block off this door. And that's why we've now got this 40 gallon tank sitting here in front of the door. So... This big dark mass here is actually my Red Claw Crab Tank that I've got covered up just so you didn't see a glare all over the video when I showed you the first look at my new brackish tank. So that's where my Red Claw Crab Tank has been sitting for the last couple weeks. Uh, so when I complain about the room being all discombobulated and things being out in the middle of the floor, uh, this is one of them. So now the next part of this project that I'm working on is going to involve breaking down Butterbean's old tank. There's nothing left in it, but I do still have a power head in there running, giving me circulation just so the tank doesn't get stagnant. Uh, the filter's turned off, and I believe I've got all the animals out of the tank. I don't think there's any snails left alive in there, and I don't think there's any uh, more fish. I should have had two Endler's Guppies in there, but I was only able to find one. I don't know if the other one had died, or if it was just hiding. But until I'm positive, I'm not going to worry about just dumping this tank out. Uh, later today, I will start breaking the tank down, though. You can see, i got to avoid showing you my quarantine tank. i still got stuff all over the floor. I've got rocks everywhere. I've got buckets of water. Um, you know, if you take a quick look around the room, you can see I've just got stuff all over the place. The room's a wreck. I've been working on getting it all back together. I've had fish in quarantine. I've had this project I've been working on. So hopefully we're getting back to being, you know, into a more normal uh, routine and I can get back to shooting videos the way uh, I used to once I get all this sorted out. So today hopefully is going to be some more forward progress. Uh, what I'm going to do is break down Butterbean's old 20, his 20 standard, 
and I've got another 20 long in the other room, I'm going to go ahead and sterilize that, get that all set up, and completely scape it differently than what my current crab tank is. And then once I've got that new tank set up, again, right here, this will be my new Red Claw crab tank. I'll have a 20 long over here scaped out differently and everything and then I'm just going to move all the animals from the existing tank to here and then I'll go ahead and break that tank down and clean it out uh, and then I think once this tank is all done and broken down and cleared out uh, I'm going to sterilize this tank as well the tank in my uh, wife's room that I set up for her is getting just you know the, the the growth on the back is just so thick and I think it's just time to rescape and redo it so I may just use this tank because the one in there is a 20 standard as well and I can basically just swap out and reset this tank up and uh, do something like that so maybe there will be some more stuff coming up we are moving into the uh, cold season you know the winter time and I'll be spending a lot more time around the house and doing stuff uh, with my fish and fish tanks and whatnot so make sure you're subscribed and that way you won't miss any of that uh, this was my uh, first official look at my new brackish tank if you're a patron over there on patreon then you're already well familiar with this tank I've shot plenty of behind the scenes videos of it along the way uh, but for my YouTube this is my first official video that has gone public and now that it's not a secret anymore, as I said, hopefully we'll be able to get back to shooting videos on a more uh, regular basis and new projects will be cropping up. And again, if you're subscribed, you won't miss any of that stuff. So thanks again for watching. Don't forget this one's my brackish tank. I'll see you real soon in the next one.